hello today i would like to show you how to make a real-time clock using the ds32 one rtc which is our simple clock we're going to be using here let's have a look at it so this is our ds3231 rtc as you can see in the previous video i talked about the ds1307 let me have a look at it also so you can see you can look here and compare these two maybe the first thing you are going to observe is that this one has an external crystal oscillator while well, this one the crystal oscillator is inbuilt and that is one of the major differences between these two rtcs and it's one of the reasons why this ds 3231 RTC is more more accurate compared to the DS1307 RTC is because this external crystal oscillator is affected by the temperature so we discover that if you're using this type of RTC after some time you are going to discover that uh, the time loses some minutes over time so that's why we prefer the DS3231 and then Another difference is that this DS3231 RTC has also an inbuilt temperature sensor. Therefore, it can easily give you the accurate temperature reading at a given time, as we're going to be showing in our tutorial here. So that's one of the major differences. But there was the wiring is almost the same, and even the program is almost the same. And both of these RTCs have battery backups like that. So, I'm mainly interested in this one. It also has a battery backup using this CR2032 battery. So, that's it, you know. And maybe can have a look at the pins a bit. It uses the I2C communication protocol. So, we are expecting to have the ground, the VCC, a data pin, and a clock pin. Then we also have this square wave pin. This pin is important if you're going to be using this chip or this module for setting maybe alarms. Yeah, like that. And then um, we also have an, an onboard memory. We have a 32 byte 24C32 EEP ROM, which is used to store, store some information. And yeah, basically that's it. Just the major, the major features to know about this. So we are now going to see how we can we can be able to set up the time using this module here. But remember, if this module is new, it means you you haven't put any time inside here. So before you can use it in the project, you need to first set up the time or the real time at a given location where you are so we are going to be showing how that is done in a simple way so what you do at first you just first connect this ltc to the adreno by just putting the ground on the ground pin vcc on five volts uh, the data pin is connected to a4 and the clock pin is connected to a5 these are the simple connections you can compare with the schematic and see so before you set the time for the DS3231 RTC, we need to make sure we have the rtclib.h library in our Arduino IDE. So I go to file, I go to sketches and then go to include library, then manage libraries. So this is going to show me all the libraries that are going to be in my IDE at the time and from here I can be able to check if I have that library RTC lib so from here I can see yeah, I already have that RTC lib library installed so if it's not there make sure it is installed it's usually around here so you can install it so after that I go to file examples and then I look for RTC lib. So from here, I look for the mode I'm having. I'm having DS3231. 
so I'm going to be using this one so this is the program that I'm going to be using to set the exact time and date for my uh, TC so from here I'll just simply upload this program into the Arduino board where I've connected the RTC then I'll be able to see if the time has been set using my serial monitor so let me upload this code and see what happens the code has now been uploaded so what we do now we go to the serial monitor here and from our serial monitor you can see so the serial monitor is now showing you the exact date the day of the week and the time at which we are doing this tutorial and then also it is showing you the temperature of where we are so that means that the time has already been set now for the RTC so we can now be able to use our RTC in all other pro programs and projects without having to see the time again because it's going to be installed stored inside the RTC another program I want to talk about is this one this program is the one which you can use to set the time manually remember the other program we have been looking at before set the time automatically but this one you set the time manually and the only thing you need to change in this program is this line here so initially it comes and it's commented out so you have to uncomment this line then use these values here change them according to the time and day that you want to set for example here this first part represents the year which is 2009 and the month which is August maybe the date you can change it and this one represents the day of the week the day of the week is followed by the hours and then the minutes and the second so after changing that you upload it to Arduino code and open the serial monitor the serial monitor should display something like this showing you like that okay so that's how you are going to set the time manually i'll put this link to this code in the description below so you can check it out and if you want you can try it out and see but mainly we usually use the first code i've talked about because for it it automatically sets the time so you don't need to keep on manipulating the code which some people may find a bit hectic so from there we now move on to show how to display this time date and temperature on an lcd so after setting the time for the ds3231 rtc to the current time and date we are now going to be able to show that time and date on the lcd display i'm just using an eye to see lcd so that i can be able to show that time the setup is quite simple i'll just put a schematic so that you can be able to compare the setup we've already talked about the i2c display and how to connect it so it shouldn't be something hard to do so let me upload the code So when you upload the code you see here we see it's 22nd august 2009 and then the time is 12 23 and then the seconds and the temperature is 33.8 degrees celsius so you can adjust the screen of the lcd so that you can see it's clearly but that's it it's just as simple as that so thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe my channel